All right, guys, you can see Pikachu's face on the screen, and you know what that means. It means we are back again for more Pokemon Yellow, which is great because I'm really getting into this playthrough. I absolutely love this game, and I have just been very pleased with everything so far. Like, I... I absolutely love this game. Not only has it been fun, it's just been really great, like, nostalgia trip for me. A really great nostalgia trip, but <clears throat> So I have Gyarados. Gyarados, Gyarados. And... He'll stick with us for a little bit, I guess. Okay, so I think I've bested everyone over here, but I don't know. There's a fat Pokemon that comes down from the mountains. It's strong if you can get it. But I don't know if I've seen any, like, good Pokemon in the grass yet. Which is rather disappointing. <clears throat> Allergies, am I right? Ugh. Okay, so we got a Pidgey. And there's the wreck. Another Pidgey. I just want to see if there's like anything nice in this grass, anything worthwhile at all. But so far, Akuna Muratata and Pidgeys. Only Pidgeys. My life is Pidgeys. Pidgeotto. I don't really want to catch it. Probably already have one. I can't remember if I caught that one I found in the grass earlier or not. But really, it's just not worth. I'm never really going to use it. Akuna, Akuna Mobertata. So there are Pidgeys and Rattatas. 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 And there's still been nothing... Nothing really worth my time here, so I think we're probably gonna leave. <clears throat> it's probably... I'll try like one or two more patches of grass just to see if I missed anything, but no. I don't think there's going to be anything worth it. Yeah, this is kind of a wash. Anything, anything at all. Well, if you ever do a yellow playthrough, this grass is worthless. Good to know. If you've ever encountered anything in this grass, though, please let me know, because I would be very interested to know if there actually is anything worthwhile in here. So please leave a comment below.
Okay, so nothing that I give a crap about. Hey man, what's up? What a surprise, Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to the Viridian City. How do you feel about that, Pikachu? Apparently you're happy about that. Um... Let's see... I don't know if I want to get anything else on my team and dump it for Diglett or not, because... Diglett... Diglett will help me at the next gym, so maybe... I don't know. Um... Well... I take literally one step. It's level 31. Oh yeah, Gyarados was flying. Trio, trio, trio. Eight, okay, I have eight Pokeballs. Pokemon go! No luck. Pokemon go! Oh my gosh, well that settles that. I'm getting a Doug Trio on my team because... I really want one. Triplets, don't want to name the Duck Trio. And it has a couple good heads on its shoulders, so you know, we're gonna name it Sarah 2. Because, like my friend Sarah, it's powerful, it's interesting, good head on its shoulders. Alright, now we just need a Diglett. <clears throat> Speak of the devil. Oh, it's so cute. Well, that was awesome. And that was sad because I just murdered that poor thing. Welp. I'm a monster. This one's level 19. Maybe it will fare slightly better. Nope. It... It just kinda died. That's... <clears throat> well, at least Gyarados got a level, but... That's kind of disappointing. This one's level 15, okay. I have to be a little delicate with the wonderful little angels. And I know you guys are wondering why do I like Diglett so much, but look how fucking cute it is. Okay, please, 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 please. Please be a little bit tougher to kill. Oh, yeah, you got it growled. 
Means my attack is down. Oh, it has scratch, but it has no arms. Does it just like rub up against me or something? Is it abrasive? Abrasive diglets? Should be the title of this episode, Abrasive Diglets. Oh, it's so porous and it hurts. Do you want to give a nickname to the diglet? Uh, click, 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 click. Dig Dug. We're gonna call him Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Hey, Diglet. Oh, you're level 20. Where were you earlier? You know what, now you, now you die. For not being there earlier. It's just how it has to be, I'm so sorry Diglett. So, I want to stop leveling up Pokemon, I'm probably going to switch. So, I know I want to keep Dylan. I know I have to keep Muffin. Victor and Ivysaur have to say, I kind of want to keep Quad. So, if it means Gyarados is going to go. Ivysaur could really use levels. And this is the perfect place, because they're all diglets. Ooh, what do you have to say? I don't want to rock tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon use Flash, it could light it up. <laughs> oh, I accidentally talked to Pikachu. Oh, at least it's happy. At least it doesn't hate me anymore. Hey man. Who are you? A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like cut. I'm looking for Clefairy. Wanna trade one for Mr. Mime? No, I only have Clefable, and even then I like my Clefable. I could go back and get you one and trade for Mr. Mime, but seeing as how I'm not being hyper competitive in this, I think I just want to get Pokemon I actually like instead of like a cheese tastic team. A wild Diglett appeared. Uh, Vine Whip. Oh uh, no. It left. It left me. It was scared. It was like, nope, I'm out. Wow, that dig is super effective. That vine whip should be super effective. What? How's dig? So, am I poison type 2? Oh, I did not remember that Ivysaur was also poison. That makes him a little less awesome. Hello, Diglett. Diggy diggy. I mean, like, I'm gonna switch Gyarados out for Diglett, and then I'm gonna switch... I mean, Dugtrio. And then I'm gonna switch Dugtrio out... for the Squirtle, if I get the Squirtle. Do I even want to switch out Gyarados for Dugtrio now? Because, I mean, if I'm just gonna switch and switch... I mean, I guess, because it'll help with the gym, but... And do I even really want Squirtle? Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Wow, that Diglett wrecked me. You know what? Victor can do this. He's sassy enough to scratch him on down.
Another Diglet. Oh. Quat. Okay, Quat. Just, 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 just kill it. Just brutally, viciously murder it. This thing that can't even defend itself, you know. You got this. Well, that was an experience, I guess. Goodbye, Gyarados. I got you for my Pokedex, and that was good enough. Withdraw... Sarah 2. There. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. We'll need your Pokemon. Alright, so the gym is hidden behind a little tree, so I have to teach a Pokemon cut now. Um, hmm. Who do I want to teach cut? Teach it to Sarah too. Delete an older move to make a new bird. Delete an older move to make room for a new move. Yes. Let's give it a growl. I can't just click the bush, I have to actually go to Pokemon. Sarah 2, cut. And now we are finally in the gym. What do you have to say? Champ in the making, Lieutenant Surge's nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis. You have to break a code to get to him. Ha, huh, code breaking. All right, so we're at the gym. We're finally at the gym, but I'm gonna save here and we're gonna do the gym next time. I know I said I'd do it in this episode and I'm sorry, Diglett Cave ran pretty, long, ran pretty long. So I will see you guys in the next one.